Today's lesson is called, The Earth is Spinning Faster, Scientists Say. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Roger. I am not a scientist, I'm just a teacher here, but、uh, we are reporting on the findings of various scientists, and some scientists say that the Earth is spinning faster, which means the days would be shorter, right? If the Earth spins faster, that means the days go by faster. It would seem that way, right? And that's kind of strange, because... How would the Earth speed up? How would it start to spin more quickly? And if it can spin more quickly, can it also slow down? If so, what effect would it have on us and other things if the Earth does spin up as far as its rotation is concerned, or if it were to slow down? These are all questions that I also don't have the answers to. Oh no, but. Hey, let's get to the bottom of things by reading today's article. We'll start doing so right after this. The Earth is spinning faster, scientists say. The Earth's rotation sped up last year, according to scientists. The fastest 28 days on record all took place in 2020. The year was a tiny, tiny bit shorter than it may have seemed. The Earth is normally a reliable timekeeper, one that scientists use to maintain UTC or Coordinated Universal Time. It rotates once every 86,400 seconds, which is 24 hours or one solar day. But the planet's rotation varies slightly because of winds, ocean currents, atmospheric pressure, and movement of the core. 大家好，第一部分我们看到单字 timekeeper 这个字是名词，指计时器、计时员。例如 ，My sister bought a timekeeper for her morning jog. 我姐姐为了晨跑买了一个计时器。或是 ，I was selected to be a timekeeper in the school sports day. 我被选为学校运动会中的计时员。再来，我们看到动词 coordinate， 指协调、使相配合。举例来说。Wanda coordinated the high school homecoming party. Wanda 负责统筹高中同学会。或是 When learning to play the drums, Jeff had difficulty coordinating his right and left hands. Jeff 学习打鼓的时候难以协调左右手。另外，这个字也可以当名词，念作 coordinate， 意思是坐标。例如 ，The ship's coordinates show that it is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. 这艘船的坐标显示它目前位于太平洋正中间。再补充一个相关名词 ，coordination, c o o r d i n a t i o n, coordination， 指身体协调性，协调。像是 My son doesn't have good coordination. He's always bumping into things. 我儿子的协调性不好，总是会撞到东西。接着我们看到单字 core， 这个字是名词，指星球的核心、中心。例如 ，Some people believe that instead of having a core The moon is actually hollow. 有些人认为月球其实没有核心，是空心的。另外，除了上面的意思，这个字还可以指最重要、关键的部分。像是 The core of the problem is that we do not have the budget for a new manager. 这个问题的关键是我们没有预算聘请新经理。再补充两个相关片语。第一 ，to the core 表示彻头彻尾、到到底底。举例来说 ，Kiko is Japanese to the core. Kiko 是个到底的日本人。第二 ，shake something to its core 表示彻底动摇。我们可以说 ，the closure of the plant shook the small town's economy to its core。这间工厂倒闭，使得小镇的经济受到非常大的打击。Okay, so again, we're talking about the Earth spinning faster, and if the Earth is spinning faster, then the days are getting shorter. Okay, so my goodness,、uh, we always want the days to be longer so we can get more work done, but now they're getting shorter. That means we're going to have to work. 
much harder. Although, don't worry, I'm sure this speed is not noticeable by most people. It's probably micro millisecond or something like that. But here in the、uh, first part of the lesson, it says the Earth's rotation sped up last year. And according to scientists, the fastest 28 days on record all took place in the year 2020, which was last year. So first of all, we've got the word rotation here. That's the noun form of the verb to rotate, which means to spin or, in some cases, to change places. Okay, so for example, if you work during the day. And your friend works at night. Well, maybe you will rotate. You will start working at night, and your friend will start working during the day. You rotate, but here rotation just refers to the spin of the Earth on its axis. Wow! Get a load of this. The 28 fastest days that have ever occurred on record since we've been writing this stuff down. They occurred in 2020, and that. Is how we know that the Earth is spinning fast, or at least this is some pretty compelling evidence that is telling us this. And we'll have more evidence soon. For now, let's go ahead and read on. The next sentence says, "The year was a tiny, tiny bit shorter than it may have seemed." And like Roger said before, could you or I have noticed this? No way. There's no way that we could have noticed this. You would have to be using scientific instruments, very, very sensitive scientific instruments, to notice this change in time, this very small difference in time between one year and the next. Okay, so let's go ahead and read on. It says next that the Earth is normally. A reliable timekeeper. What do you think this means? Well, I know the word timekeeper refers to a person or a machine that keeps time. Like, for example, if you're running in a race, you need somebody to serve as your timekeeper. They have the stopwatch and they're measuring the time it takes you to get from the starting line to the finish line. So, in this particular case, though, the、uh, scientists oftentimes use the Earth as a timekeeper as a way to measure time and. Of course, the Earth is used to maintain UTC, which stands for Coordinated Universal Time, the standard time that everybody uses in the world. Yes, all the scientists all over the world are working together. They are coordinated. So we've got Coordinated Universal Time, and usually, the Earth is reliable. You can. Count on it, no pun intended. It keeps time well, but 2020, well, it wasn't as long as it should have been. The Earth apparently is spinning faster. Let's learn some more. It says the Earth it rotates once every 86,400 seconds, which is 24 hours. Or one solar day. So the Earth rotates. Every time it rotates, that's one day. Okay. We have night and we have day. We have sunshine and then night. That's one cycle, one day. It takes 24 hours to complete this, and this is usually 86,400 seconds. And the Earth's a good timekeeper. It does this over and over again. But it says here the planet's rotation varies slightly. Oh, just a bit, because of winds, ocean currents, atmospheric pressure, or movement of the core. So, every once in a while, because of one of these factors, the Earth. Might rotate more quickly or more slowly, or something like that. So the Earth is spinning faster. Scientists have told us this. Is this an emergency? It doesn't sound like it at this point. Right. So there are various factors as to why the planet's rotation changes. It varies slightly, just a tiny little bit. It has to do with winds and ocean currents and atmospheric pressure. That is pressure in the atmosphere and also movement of the core, the middle part of the Earth, which actually also generates the Earth's magnetic field, which keeps those nasty solar winds from frying us. 
us all to death. So thank goodness for the Earth's core. But these things kind of change from time to time, and scientists think that、uh, those factors are the reason why the Earth has sped up a little bit, which is kind of weird because actually I've been told that the、uh, Earth's spinning or rotation has been slowing down, which we'll talk about in the next part of our lesson. Let's listen to it now. In fact, its rotation has been slowing since scientists began keeping records using satellites in the 1960s. Since 1972, scientists have occasionally had to add an extra leap second to make up for slightly slower days. It's the same concept as adding a leap day every four years on February 29th. After 2020, though. Scientists are for the first time talking about the possibility of subtracting a leap second in the future. Whether to add or subtract leap seconds is determined by the International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service (IERS), based in Paris. 第二部分，我们看到片语 make up for something， 表示弥补、补偿点点点的缺失或不足。例如。The basketball player makes up for his slow speed with his very accurate shooting. 这名篮球员以精准的射篮弥补他速度上的不足。或是 The great concert we got to see made up for all the time we had to wait in line for tickets. 我们参加的那场精彩音乐会让我们排队等待买票所花的时间都值得了。另外，补充一个相关片语 ，make it up to somebody， 表示补偿某人，像是。I'm sorry I missed your party last weekend, but I promise I'll make it up to you. 很抱歉我错过你上周末的派对，但我保证我会补偿你的。Anyways, the Earth is spinning faster now. We know that, but This hasn't always been the case. It hasn't been speeding up forever. No, there have been periods when it has slowed down. Even how about that? In fact, it says its rotation has been slowing since scientists began keeping records using satellites in the 1960s. So how about that? Okay, it's speeding up, but really, it's. Been slowing down on average since we've been keeping records. So, I feel a whole lot better now. I feel like maybe there is some equilibrium that we're gaining here. Yeah, maybe they are canceling each other out. And yes, I read this somewhere or heard it in a podcast that、uh, the moon, because of its gravity, is gradually slowing down the rotation of the Earth, and eventually the Earth and the moon will be tidally locked to each other. But that's not going to happen for billions of years. In fact, by that time, the sun. Will have become a red giant and will have swallowed up the Earth and the Moon anyway. So don't worry about that too much. But again, they started keeping records in the 1960s using satellites, which are machines that are going around the Earth and they help us with our internet signals and stuff like that. Although I understand most internet signals actually go through cables in the ocean, but still we've got satellites doing all sorts of fun stuff, including. Measuring the rotation of the Earth. Now, since 1972, scientists have occasionally had to add an extra leap second to make up for slightly slower days. So they do this occasionally. Okay, once in a while, maybe two to three percent of the time. There you go. Scientists have occasionally had to add. An extra leap second to make up for slightly slower days. Oh, there is a slower day, so we have to make up for that. Okay, we have to make up for or replace that lost time. So they add a leap second, the same way that every four years we add a leap year. So that's pretty cool here. How interesting! By the way, yes, when you make up for something, basically you replace something that should be there. All right. Now it says here it's the same concept as adding a leap day every four years on February 29th. That's called a leap year. You add a leap day in February every four years. Now here in the next paragraph it says. 
After 2020, though, scientists are for the first time talking about the possibility of subtracting a leap second in the future. Because the Earth has been slowing down, scientists are discussing this, and they're thinking, "Hmm, maybe we actually have to subtract a leap second in the future. That means the new year will come one second sooner." Anyways, whether to add or subtract leap seconds is determined by the International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service, or IERS. Based in Paris, yes, there is a worldwide service based in Paris that figures out whether to add or subtract leap seconds. It's a real thing. How about that? And、uh, it's kind of weird that it's based in Paris because, hey, French people are not very punctual. I think a service like this should be based in Japan. They are the world's best timekeepers. But that is another story. We'll talk about that some more and other things in the third part of our lesson. Let's listen now. Previously, the fastest day recorded was in 2005. That record was broken a staggering 28 times last year. This series of occurrences provides one more reason why 2020 was a year that people will never forget. 最后第三部分，我们看到形容词 staggering， 指令人震惊的、惊人的。例如 ，the author wrote a staggering amount of novels during her lifetime. 那位作家一生中写了数量惊人的小说作品。Okay, so the fastest 28 days on record all took place in 2020. But previously, our article continues, the fastest day recorded was in 2005, and I don't remember anything remarkable happening in 2005. 2005 was a okay year. Nothing like 2007, 2008 with the financial crisis or 2020 were. Pretty much everything happened, and yes, it says here that record was broken a staggering 28 times last year. Yes, that is staggering. It's jaw dropping. It's amazing. It's almost. Impossible to believe. It's staggering. That's what staggering means. Really noticeable. Really extreme. So yes, it happened quite a bit. Hey, one day, two days, no big deal. But twenty-eight days, that is huge. That is phenomenal. That is staggering. And this series of occurrences provides one more reason why 2020 was a year that people. Will never forget. So, of course, when something happens, that is an occurrence. Okay, so this series of occurrences, or happenings, or instances of these days being shorter than other days, well, that provides one more reason why 2020 was a year that we just would rather forget about. And remember, 2020. Wasn't the kind of year that we want to remember, and I'm not going to tell you why because we're all sick of hearing about it. So let's just forget that 2020 ever existed and look forward to the future when the days aren't so fast or so slow, and we can live our lives like normal people. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. 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 Hello,
，那么 a t e 可以是动词字尾或是名词字尾，那么合在一起 coordinate 这个字当动词，它就有协调，使什么调和、相配合的意思。那么这个字呢，也可以当名词用，常常就会用复数型来指坐标的意思。好，我们顺便补充几个有相同字根的单字，第一个是 ordinance。O R D I N A N C E， 好，那它的字跟这个 O R D I N 就表示命令啊、秩序的意思。那么 A N C E 是名词字尾，把它合在一起 ，ordinance 这个名词它就有法令、条例的意思喽。好，那么第二个补充的是 extraordinary， 好，它是在 ordinary 前面加上 E X T R A extra 这部分，那这个字首它就是超越的意思。好，那么再看到 ordinary 这部分。它的字跟 o r d i n 表示次序 ，a r y 是形容词字尾。好，那想想看哦，什么叫超越次序呢？我们不按照该有的次序，超越了一般的状况，那就会显得很特别嘛。那么 extraordinary 就可以用来形容它是特别的、非凡的，或是令人惊奇的。好，课文第三部分用到一个补充单字是 occurrence， 它当可数名词可以表达发生的事。当不可数名词就有发生的意思，那么 occurrence 是来自动词 occur， 我们就来学习它的字首字根。好，字根 c o u r 或是 c u r 这样的字根呢，它表示跑啊、流动或是运转的意思。可能还会看到其他拼音法，像是 c o u r s 或是 c u r r 或者是 c u r s。等等，好，那么在 occur 这个字当中呢，它的字首 o c 是来自 o b o b 在 c 之前呢，它就会拼成 o c 了。那这样的字首它表示朝向，好，再看到 c u r 这个字根，它表示跑，朝向。跑过去，好。当有事情发生的时候，是不是就好像事情它跑来找我们，自己跑过来找我们，对不对？所以 occur 它就有这种发生、出现的意思。那我们顺便补充几个有这一类字根的单字哦。第一个是 concur，c o n c u r， 它的字首 c o n 表示一起。那么字跟 c u r 表示运转，合在一起 concur， 它就有这种同时发生，或者是有同意、赞成、意见一致的意思。那这是比较正式的用字，它的名词是 concurrence， 就可以用来表达赞同、同意或是同时发生的意思。第二个补充的是 excursion, e x c u r s i o n. 好，它的字首 e x 表示向外，那么字根 c u r 表示跑 ，s i o n 则是名词字尾。向外跑，哎，往外跑应该很容易联想到 excursion， 它有远足啊，或是短途旅行的意思。那么第三个补充的是 curriculum， c u r r i c u l u m。好，它的字根 c u r r 表示跑，那么 c u l u m 是拉丁文名词字尾。Curriculum 这个字呢，本身它具有赛道、比赛的跑道那个赛道的意思。同学们就可以试着去联想说，毕业就好像是赛跑的终点。那我们必须把所有该上的课程都把它上完，那这个过程跑完，我们才有办法毕业嘛。那用这样的方式去联想说 ，Curriculum 它有课程的意思。那我们把名词字尾 C U L U M 改成形容词字尾 C U L A R， 变成 Curricular， 那就可以用来形容是课程的。接着再。Curricular 前面加上字首 extra，extra extra 是额外的意思嘛？那合在一起 ，extracurricular 就是用来形容是课外的。好，以上时间重点整理，我们回顾今天的单词吧。Coordinate. The dancers practiced for hours to coordinate their moves. Rotate. The planets rotate around the sun as the moon rotates around the earth. Slightly. Fortunately, Sophie's grades have increased slightly since last year. Atmospheric. A location's climate refers to its long-term atmospheric conditions. Core. The temperature of the Earth's core is estimated to be similar to that of the Sun. Satellite. We use satellites to predict changes in weather patterns before they happen. Occasionally, Nigel frequently visits the park, and he occasionally takes supplies for a picnic. Discussion starter starts now. And now it's time for our discussion starter. Hey, Roger, what is the most interesting thing that you learned from the article? 
Well, I was amazed to discover that the Earth is actually spinning faster when I was told before that it was actually slowing down. So what the heck is going on here? The Earth needs to make up its mind. It's either going to slow down or speed up. I am sick of it being so indecisive. What do you think? Well, the article mentioned that there was a、uh, service. That could decide whether to add or subtract leap seconds, based in Paris, called the International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service, or the IERS. Now, I think that's very interesting because I had no idea that such a system or a service, I should say, actually existed. That there is an entire service with scientists working together to determine. What to do with leap seconds and the like? That is really super cool and interesting to me. Well, everyone, today's article has come to an end, and I sure hope you guys enjoyed reading and learning along with us. I am Jeff. I am Roger. See, See you next time. time.